Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, you've seen that I've been working on a crossbow. I've forged out the trigger guard for it, and now I'm going to quench it in that container over there. Um, unfortunately, it's not metal, so hopefully it doesn't melt through, but luckily it's not um, very important if it does. Mm. Like a pretty consistent heat. Alright, hopefully, I don't drop this. Now it's cool enough to where even though this is plastic, I believe I can drop it in here. Okay, I think it went well. We'll check back with you guys. I'm about it if I can. So, for this trigger guard, um, as you can see, it's now been quenched. Um, this was made out of a railroad spike. Can't remember if I said that earlier right now or not. Um, but I didn't triple quench it just because it's going to be a trigger guard. I didn't want to um, put it at risk of being brittle. Although it probably wouldn't be because it's a railroad spike. Um, but anyways, here it is. Um, I meant to normalize this like three or four times. So I think I ended up actually thermocycling it. But I'm pretty sure I did actually normalize it once. At least, I think. It's pretty thick. Thick. Let me show you. I mean, I think I'm going to trim it down some in places that needs to be trimmed down. But, um, to give you a comparison, there's my finger. There's the side of it. And now I'm going to show you guys some testing. And I want people to let me know if you think I should temper this. And if so, how and, um, why exactly so now i'm going to do some testing i actually already did some um i've thrown it against rocks like this one um or i threw it against one of these i don't know but and then i actually hit it with a sledgehammer a little bit um the initially i just dropped it like you I basically just let the weight of the hammer hit this, um, and then I think I swung at a little bit, and it seems fine. Let me show you guys. I don't think I'm going to go full force. I don't know, because, I mean, I don't want to mess this up, but I just want to give you guys a demonstration, and I want to um, give you all some data points for whether you think I should or shouldn't temper this. So these like flanges actually got a little bent, but um, they, um, so I'm gonna have to put this in the forge, straighten it, and then re-harden it, and probably normalize it again, and thermocycle it again, but anyways, let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this in terms of heat treatment, um, if I should do anything else. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay, so right now I'm heating that trigger guard up to quench it. I'm having a bit of a hard time getting a um, consistent heat all the way around. Um, but I believe I can do at least an adequate job. I believe I 
thermocycled and normalized it properly. Um, but yeah. Also off camera, I drilled two holes for um, mounting it onto my crossbow and I straightened it where it got bent before when I was basically torture testing it. Okay, now I think it's good enough. Okay, I quenched it again. Um, it got a little burnt at one point. I definitely think it's salvageable, especially thinking, especially considering how thick it is. Also, some work has been done on the handguard. My dad gave it to um, someone that he knows at work. Removed some material along this. Um, surface. It's not perfectly flat. I can fix that with sandpaper, etc. Um, but yeah, there's my update for today um, for that rubber band powered crossbow.